Thousands of Sunni demonstrators have gathered in Ramadi, 150 kilometers west of Iraq's capital, Baghdad, to protest against the country's Shiite-led government. It was the third protest against the government in less than a week. Iraq's finance minister, Rafia al Isawi, a Sunni from Anbar province, addressed the protesters after his bodyguards were arrested earlier in the week. He told the crowd that the government shows a lack of respect by consistently targeting Sunnis, accusing the Iraqi leadership of attempting to turn Sunni neighborhoods into jails surrounded by concrete walls. Anbar province was the heart of the deadly Sunni insurgency that emerged after the U.S.-led invasion in 2003, and Sunni extremists are still responsible for the majority of car bombings and indiscriminate attacks that plague the country. Some of these groups are now fighting in the sectarian conflict in Syria, aiding the rebels to depose the Syrian Shiite-aligned president. Iraq is made up of about 65% Shiites and 35% Sunnis. However, Sunnis had traditionally ruled the country until the recent war paved the way for the Shiites to step in. To complicate the religious situation, some 15 to 20% of the population is made up of ethnic Kurds, a people spread across Iraq, Syria, Turkey and Iran. Such fresh signs of increasing sectarian divides are just another symptom of a trend sweeping the region, as the Syrian civil war's sectarian violence fuels hatreds amongst the differing religious and ethnic groups of Lebanon, Turkey and Iraq.